We're continuing our coverage of Donald Trump's latest controversial comments. During Monday night's rally in South Carolina, he not only proposed a temporary ban on all Muslims from entering the United States, but he also slammed the media. The mainstream media wants to surrender the Constitution. The mainstream media, these people back here, they're the worst. They are so dishonest. So we talk about the media, the main, and, and by the way, some of the media is terrific, but most of it, 70 percent, 75 percent, is absolute dishonest, absolute scum. Remember that. Scum. <laughs> scum. They're totally dishonest people. So Pan Deb is the CBS digital political reporter who has been covering the Trump campaign for the past year. He was at Trump's South Carolina event last night. He joins us now on the phone. So Pan, I'm curious, how did the crowd react to Trump's comments about that temporary Muslim ban and on this other issue of criticizing the media last night? Well, the crowd reacted with long, sustained applause. Uh, many of them loved what they were hearing, no question. And look, Donald Trump's rallies are a little different than other candidates' rallies. They are larger, the fans are a bit different, and uh, they're a little bit louder. I mean, I can't, you know, I can't think of any other candidate that has fans that travel to every rally as if it's a Grateful Dead concert. Um, the other day in North Carolina, a person you know, asked Trump a question, and it was her eighth rally of the cycle. So, you know, and I'm pretty sure the only ones that have traveled to that many Donald Trump rallies are the Trump campaign and the campaign embeds and some of these super fans. But, but the truth of the matter is they, they love what he has to say. They love the fact that he's being politically incorrect again. You know, it's one thing to be in the crowd and sort of uh, clap along with everyone else uh, and get caught up in, in the emotion of the moment. But I'm wondering if you got a chance to talk to supporters afterwards. And did anybody have a comment about his proposed ban on all Muslims? Did they agree? Did they think, eh, you know, I'm not so crazy about that? But everything else that he said, he makes a good point. Well, yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I talked to a number of supporters afterwards, and many of them, you know, almost all of them expressed a sentiment to me, you know, a similar sentiment to me. You know, one Vietnam veteran I spoke to, a huge Trump supporter, said that he doesn't consider Islam a religion. He said he considered it a violent blood call and recited the myth that there are nearly 800 Muslim no-go zones in, Par in Paris. Another one just called it a sensible solution until we figure out what's going on, echoing what Donald Trump said at the podium. And look, this is part of the course. So many voters tell me that Trump articulates what they have to say, but don't have the guts to say. This is what they love about him, that he's not politically uh, correct. We just heard from the leader of CARE, Sopan, and he said that this is exactly what ISIS wants, to divide Muslims and to cut them off. Did any of the supporters talk about that? No. No. And, you know, many, you know, some of them cited Charlie Hebdo. And, look, you know, the, the truth is, you know, Right now, there is a you know, segment of the Donald Trump fan base that doesn't want to differentiate between radical Islam and the rest of Islam. And that's, you know, that's, you know, I've heard other supporters say, look, I saw thousands of Muslims celebrating on the rooftops of New, uh, of New Jersey, even though that didn't happen. You know, the, there, there are many of them actually do feel this way. And um, I, sh I shouldn't say many of them. I should say, you know, a segment of the Trump supporters. But no, none of them said, you know, maybe we should just step back. Maybe that's a little bit too far. Can we talk a little bit about uh, Trump's criticism of the media? You know, he throws all kinds of words around. Media is scum. They're dishonest. But then, you know, if you watch this morning, he pretty much hit up every show that he could yeah, to he explain his comments. Yeah, and he was on for a long time. But clearly this must work when he's sort of out there campaigning with, with the crowd, uh, ripping the media apart. It absolutely works. Look, his fans hate the media, and his fans also hate the political establishment. And as far as they're concerned, the media is kind of part of that. So Trump can whip up the crowd and get some easy applause out of it, but more importantly, he can paint himself as not politically correct, won't back down from anybody, including the media, and paint himself as kind of this anti-establishment conservative, which in this election, as you can see, is very, very attractive. Now, I want to go back to what Anne Marie was saying, in that it's easy to get caught up with the crowd, but... I'm just curious, when you talked to people leaving this event last night, there, you couldn't find even one person that disagreed with him at all? No. I mean, one person said he wants to read a little bit more about the proposal. Um, but no, uh, no. The, They're you know, diehard again, fans. There's a crowd of, you know, five, you know, I didn't talk to all, you know, thousands and thousands of people that were there. But no, I, there, was, there was nobody there. that. In fact, actually, you know, while we were sitting in the press risers, multiple people actually approached me and said, you know, he was right about what he said. These mm -hmm. are people that I'd even seek out to talk to. They, they came up to me. Um, so, you know, there's a reason that he received the sustained applause that he did. The crowd loved what he had to say. Mm -hmm. and, and this is something Trump himself has referenced on the morning show interviews he's done this morning. 
So, Pan, uh, Deb, embedded with the Trump campaign on the phone with us, thank you very much.